Hi, welcome back to Q&A with Dr. K. Uh, today's an interesting question here. Uh, Dr. K, I'm vegetarian and on my way to becoming vegan. My question is about milk. I'm currently lactose intolerant. And when I drink processed white milk from a store, I get awful pain and other side effects. However, when I drink raw milk from a farm without pasteurizing, etc., I get none of these. Are manufacturers putting lactose into the processing of milk from raw to the shelf? Uh, no, manufacturers are not adding lactose uh, once they pasteurize milk. Uh, it's the pasteurization that's uh, causing the issues here. But before we get to that, uh, let me back up here. I, uh, I always view lactose intolerant people who get cramps and diarrhea uh, after drinking the milk of a cow uh, as kind of a uh, flash uh, Western Union telegram message uh, to that person about drinking the milk of a cow. Uh, and I urge them to uh, go into the bathroom, have a look in the mirror and uh, see who's looking back at them. If the entity looking back has big ears and a snout and, whisk and whiskers, if it's a, a baby calf, then go ahead and enjoy your milk. If it's not, realize that there's a whole lot of things in that white liquid that really are not intended for human consumption. Uh, yes, lactose is certainly one of them. We lose the enzymes to digest lactose uh, as we become adults, as we should. Uh, uh, it's a juvenile food uh, that we are stealing from the, uh, uh, from the mother cow. Uh, and, uh, and the enzyme lactase to break down lactose uh, is normally lost in infancy. That's supposed to happen. It's not a disease that you're lactose intolerant. That's the way it's supposed to work. Um, but uh, very importantly, uh, there's a lot of other things in that milk that you don't want to be consuming. There's a whole host of proteins, lactobumin and uh, casein, et cetera, that are notorious for setting off allergies and uh, uh, bowel problems in, in the gut. Uh, but also uh, the lactose itself um, uh, may be, certainly is a problem, but because milk is pasteurized in order to kill germs in it, it's, it's, it's flash heated up to about 150 degrees for about 20 seconds and cooled off. They're supposed to kill the tuberculosis germs and other germs in the milk. But what else does it do? What else does it do? It certainly must denature those proteins. You heat any protein up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to change it. You're going to break up proteins and there's going to be fragments of, of proteins and broken up sugars and broken up fats in that pasteurized milk. And I suspect that is what is causing your cramps and diarrhea and abdominal distress after you consume pasteurized milk. It's not that they've added lactose. It's all the other substances that have been generated through the pasteurization process. So what's the message? Drink unpasteurized milk? No, the answer is stop seeing that you know, the milk of a cow is in any way healthy for you. There's nothing in cow's milk that you need, no protein, no vitamin, no mineral, no nothing. Uh, cows don't drink milk. They get their calcium from green plants. That's where we should get it. Uh, and again, there's a lot of things in that milk that you don't want, everything from hormones to, uh, to pesticides uh, and antibiotics. Uh, so the message is stop consuming the milk of a cow, leave that behind. And nowadays it's easier and easier because you go to the grocery store, look in the, either the dairy case or just on the shelf these days, and you'll find all sorts of lovely white milks uh, to pour in your cereal, but, the, but it's almond milk, it's rice milk, it's hemp milk, it's oat milk, there's no end of plant-based milks these days. Please do yourself a favor and buy yourself a few cartons of organic plant-based milk and pour it on your cereal. It's not a drinking beverage. Uh, the drinking beverage you should be consuming on a daily basis is water. That's what our bodies really need. So have yourself three, four, five glasses of pure water every day. And when it comes time to, to use that white milk on your cereal, pour a half a cup of oat milk or, uh, or some hemp milk or some other plant-based milk on it. And uh, you'll get all the benefits and flavor enjoyment of that white liquid uh, without, uh, uh, without subjecting your intestinal tract to uh, uh, broken up cow proteins and lipids and, uh, and other substances that clearly your gut does not like. And do not see 
raw cow's milk is in any way healthy, uh, cows get, uh, uh, they get infections. Cows get tuberculosis. They get bacteria on their udders that wind up in the milk. Uh, uh, unpasteurized milk is, uh, uh, is certainly not sterile. It's certainly, I don't call it healthy in any way, but uh, I don't view any cow's milk as uh, acceptable for humans. I mean, really, would you pour dog milk on your cereal? Would you pour rat milk on your cereal? moose milk? Well, why in the world do you think the cow milk is in some way beneficial for us? It's not. We don't need it. And uh, your intestines will celebrate when you give them a break finally from that white liquid that really should be consumed only by baby calves.